Hi, and welcome to Faces of Italy. I'm your host, Janine, and I'm with the fabulous Chef Kevin. Hey, Janine. How are you doing, Kevin? Excellent, excellent. Good. What are we making today? Uh, simple and easy, and everybody should do this at home. I mean, it's a nice Alfredo sauce. Oh, Alfredo from sauce. From scratch. I've always wanted to know what exactly goes inside Alfredo uh -huh. sauce. Well, all the good good things, right? All the good things. So we're going to start off with really simple, basic ingredients. Okay. Uh, we have one stick of butter. One stick of butter. Wow, we whole got our, stick of butter. We got our pan heating up to a nice medium heat. We don't okay. want to burn the butter, we just want to melt the butter. Okay. okay so we don't want to burn it, so we'll swirl it around. Should we turn this down at all? Mm -hmm. Okay. That would be great. So our pan's a little hot. That's okay. We'll cool it down with the milk. We got two cups of actually half and half. Okay, half and half milk. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what makes it nice and thick and creamy, right? Yes. Okay. And if you want, I mean, if you don't want to go on the end of all that, those calories, mm -hmm. you can cut back. You can do 2% milk. Okay, so you can substitute Lighten that. Lighten it up a little that bit. That is great yep. to know. Fantastic. Now, the the recipe's going to get some egg in it. So if I'll you can get pull that. me a couple eggs out sure. there. Yep, there you go. And I'm going to dice up some one clove of garlic. <clears throat> now, are you putting the entire eggs in there? Actually, no, we're going to separate the eggs and just use the yolks only. Oh, okay. Now, the yolks are <laughs> the most flavorful part of the egg. Yes. <laughs> that's fat is flavor, and that's what you want in your sauce. Right, okay. So if you want to give that a stir, make sure our butter is melting. Sure. I'll take the eggs from you. Thank okay. you very much. Now, this pan is going to be hot, so. Thank you. Sure? We have some pasta going on here, so. Uh, yeah, see that. It's a quick and easy sauce. Really? So how long should this take to cook? <laughs> um, like less than Five. two minutes. Oh, okay, fantastic. As all the ingredients come together. So I got my one clove of garlic nicely diced up here. Okay. I'm gonna add that and then it'll sit and simmer in with the milk. I mean the half and half. There we go. Okay. Now what's next? Um, we're gonna wait stirring? for the butter to finish melting. And then, <laughs> then we'll add our cheeses. So we have half a cup of Romano. Mm. Go ahead and pour that in there if you okay, want. Okay, yes. Perfect. And the butter's melting nice? Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, it's just about there. Go okay. for it. Then I have half a cup of grated Parmesan. Okay, so you put in two different cheeses. Right. Nice. And if, if you want to switch it up, you can always use a different cheese. Uh, fun, really? Like Fontina, what? Uh, Asiago. I mean, there's all kinds of different, as long as it's a dry cheese and not an oily cheese. You just want a nice dry cheese because it's going to melt and all the flavors are going to meld together. Okay. Now, what, what would be consisted of an oily cheese? Uh, mozzarella. Oh, okay. Is, is it a very oily cheese? Cheddar, mm, anything. My that, favorite, cheddar, yeah. mm, yummy. Something that comes, you know, when you open it up and it, it, it's pliable, it, oh. it's not stiff and hard, you want a stiff, hard cheese. Yep. Okay, stiff So, I'll go ahead and separate the eggs. Okay. And our I butter's melted, right? I'll turn this up a little bit just because it's not melted yet. Is that okay? Okay, that's fine. We'll get, make sure that it gets melted. Do you want to make sure you separate all the white? Oh, let's see how you do that. So you just break the egg in half, and we'll save that yellow there. There we go. Nice. There's the garbage. See, it's in half. All the white's going in there. And if you want to, you can save the egg white and make yourself an omelet tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. <laughs> an egg white omelet, right? <laughs> yeah. So why waste it? It's not exactly. The with it. Put it in the fridge, and it's good for the next morning. There's our other egg yolk. So we got the two egg yolks. Okay. The eggs off my finger. Right, I have a little secret ingredient. <gasps> Another uh, secret fresh. ingredient. What <laughs> fresh nutmeg. All it is is half a teaspoon, and that's going to add another layer of flavor, and it's just going to be. Wait fat. a minute, nutmeg and Alfredo sauce? Sure. Oh yeah. Smell, really? Smell it. No, I know what nutmeg smells like. Right. That smells delicious. There you go. And, and only a little. A little goes a long way. So stir that on there. <laughs> okay. How's the cheese? Did the cheese melt in there? Yes, the cheese Good. is melted. Perfect. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is melted. also, we want to take it off the fire, because now the cheese is melted, and we're going to add the egg yolk, because we don't want the yolk to scramble. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So if you put the yolk on top of this right now when it's on the it fire, might, it might Especially start if it's a boil or a simmer. Itself. Yeah, you don't want little bits of scrambled no, egg. No, you don't. That's yeah, not exactly. good for an Alfredo it's sauce. Not at all. So okay. go ahead and mix that in there. Okay. So blow off the fire. There we go. Okay. Go ahead and scrape all the goodness out of there. All that yumminess. Yeah, huh? there you go. That's the good stuff. Look at that. Okay. And if you wanted to make it <clears throat> even more flavorful, you could add another egg yolk. <laughs> it's up to really? your own preference. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now I'm gonna add a little salt to it. All right. So how much? I salt? always put just like a pinch. In my hand, only 
It's half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon? There we go. Okay. That's all it needs right there. This looks now good Now you can put already. it back on the fire okay. and it'll actually thicken up as it cooks. So do I just let it sit now? Mm -hmm. and, okay. Yep, just give it a little stir and we can actually crank it up to about maybe six or seven, six oh, okay. and a half. Um, you want that the egg to coagulate. It's going to solidify and it's going to add that sauciness to it. Okay. We got some pasta cooking here. It's uh, ready to go. It's al dente. Well, that was quick and easy. Right? I mean, yeah, right? I thought there was so much more to this. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay. So if you want to grab a bowl there, sure I'll load you. you up with some pasta. Drain the water off there. There we go. It's a little bow tie pasta. There you go. Okay. We'll ladle some out there for you. That looks great. It makes a little difference, yes. Just let it and the way you can tell when the sauce is finished, uh -huh. you stick it, your spoon in there and it coats the back of the spoon. Oh, okay. Like that, that is fantastic to know. I never knew that. Make a little parsley. Ooh. Make it look all nice and pretty. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Good taste. Mmm. Nice. Hi, and welcome back to Faces of Italy. Now, what we're going to make now is what? <laughs> Chicken primavera. Chicken primavera so to go with our... Most primaveras is just usually uh, the vegetables. We're going to add a little chicken to it. Okay, now this is going to go with the Alfredo sauce that we already made earlier, correct? That's right. That's Fantastic. Right. And if you missed how we did that, you can just go to our recipe and go to our website and you'll find the recipe there at facesofitaly.tv. Sure. Okay, so we're adding the chicken. I have two cups of chicken breast diced, about one inch pieces of chicken. Okay. And I'm going to season with some salt and pepper. Okay. We have, well, like I said, our original... Alfredo, Alfredo sauce. Mm -hmm. Good to go. You want to season it up nice and you want the chicken to get nice and brown. And okay. then we'll add our vegetables and we'll saute them off. So what vegetables are we going to be uh, well, putting um, in here? The original recipe calls for asparagus. It's I'm asparagus. Not a, yeah, so, but you can use whatever you like. Green beans. Green Why beans? Green? Sure. Oh, okay. yeah, absolutely. Whatever you got in the fridge. Really? How about wherever you have. Okay. Carrots and some, some yellow bell peppers. Oh, bell peppers. Should I be stirring this? A little this? sweeter. No, we're going to let it get brown on one side, then we'll give it a toss oh, okay. and get the other side brown. And so then, that's the sweet pepper over there? Yep, the sweet uh, And they're one inch pieces. How much of that? Is that and that's about a cup. cup. It's okay. one medium bell pepper. Okay. Yep. One medium. And then I have some um, carrots. Little carrots, and they're in the raw state. So we're going to cook them up, and all those flavors are all going to meld together and come together. Mm. And then last. But not least, we'll add the, about a tablespoon of basil. Basil. Yep. Okay. Let's get started. When do we put the tomatoes in at the same That's time be, we do? Because it's a soft vegetable. Okay. And it's going to add the acid to it and other flavors to it. And then we'll add the pasta. Give it a toss and we're good to go. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. That's great that we can substitute the vegetables, you know. I actually love asparagus, so. But ah. that's just me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to use the green beans today. Okay. Yeah, the original recipe calls for asparagus. So it, it all depends on what you like. Right. So it, is that going to be your secret is. ingredient for today? <laughs> 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 we want the chicken to cook. Okay. We'll get those other sides nice and brown. See the golden brown? Yeah, I see that. Okay. Salt and pepper, nice and simple. Okay. Green beans. All I do is take the bean, snap them in half. Simple, easy. Mm. We'll toss those in. That's mm. about one cup's worth. Okay. Right. One cup of green beans. And then uh, our bell peppers. There you go. Get them all in there. A cup of bell peppers. Yep. We'll crank this baby up to high. Okay. We want that chicken to make sure we get it nice and cooked. We'll just turn over all these other little yeah, pieces here. Yeah, turn them over. Yep. Make sure they get done. Okay. About a five minute dish. Doesn't take too long. Once that chicken's done. Five minutes is perfect, especially at my house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Simple and easy. And yes. You see how easy. Once you get the ingredients diced up, it, it all comes together. Right, The right. pasta doesn't take more than eight minutes to cook. Okay. I'm just simmering it here, so it'll be ready to go. And that's some bow tie pasta from earlier. Throw up my sauce, see how my sauce is looking. Here we yeah, go. that nice looks so cheesy. good, yeah. yes. There we go. See? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That does look good. And you can make several dishes out of that, because that, that's quite a bit of sauce. A little yeah. bit goes a long way, yeah. And I learned earlier, it's ready when it's coating the spoon. Okay. Got our last hard vegetable. There you go. Toss it on in there. Ready? <laughs> See, if I did that, it would be everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Good, flatten it back down. Everything gets back in the pan and gets to play together. Okay. 
And, th and then, because the carrots are so thin sliced, yeah. they're gonna cook a little faster. Right. And everything will come together. That's why you added those last. Oh, so the other, okay. the other vegetables are a little thicker, a little heartier. Right. But you still want that little bite to it when you bite into it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. We'll add our little grape tomatoes. Soft tomatoes, right? which I love. Right. Add a little more acid to it. How are we looking here? Mm-hmm. Very good. Nice. See all the colors? Yes, it's beautiful. beautiful. And the nutrients that you're getting from everything. I mean, it's it's chicken breast. It's 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 the so fresh it's a healthy, vegetables. It's a healthy meal. Absolutely. Exactly. We used olive oil. We didn't put any butter in it. It's, right, it's, right. And, and the, the sauce that we're gonna put in. <laughs> <laughs> the, this there looks go. beautiful. Now here's our basil. Toss that on up. Okay. And we'll add the Alfredo. My favorite, there the Alfredo. Go. Oh, yep. look at that. We'll get like, uh, there we go, two ladles should do it. Now this would feed what, a family of four? Absolutely, or? look at that, huh? And then I have a little bit of Parmesan. We'll add some uh, Parmesan to coat to the that. top, yep. I like there that. You go. Chef Kevin, you See have how it done all melts it again. See together, all the flavors, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> this is absolutely wonderful. Okay, this looks great. Thank you, Thank Chef you. Kevin. And we will be right back with more Faces of Italy. Smell it. Yeah. Hi, and welcome back to Faces of Italy. I'm your host, Janine, along with... Hey. Chef Kevin. <laughs> How are we doing today? Good, fantastic. Good. Okay, Guess so... Guess what we're making today. What is it? <laughs> it's one of my favorite dishes, Italian meatloaf. Italian it's, meatloaf. Oh. Okay, so what is different from Italian meatloaf and regular meatloaf? Well, I, I'll tell you the common thing is, is we're using ground beef. Okay. And we're adding fresh garlic. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And the breadcrumbs aren't just normal breadcrumbs. They're not. Right. What are they? They're the seasoned Italian breadcrumbs. Okay. Get a cup of that. And then um, we're going to top it with my homemade uh, marinara sauce. Ooh. So it's going to cook nicely. So first of all, we're going to get the, the vegetables toasting. Okay. Got a little olive oil in there. Let's crank it up to about an eight. An eight. All right. So we got red bell pepper diced up. We got the red onion. Okay. And then we'll add the garlic. All right, so how much of um, this ingredient? One red red bell pepper, and then okay. one medium onion. Get a nice fine dice, because you don't want to find a big, hairy chunk of onion in your meatloaf. No, we sure don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're not a fan of onions. I am not a fan of onions. I will, if I can't see them, then I'll eat them. Oh, but there you if go. I see them, right, they're right. coming out of there. <laughs> and then also, we got fresh parsley. We're going to mix fresh parsley in with it. Right. Another added ingredient for our Italian meatloaf. Right. I'll say I don't like onions, you know. Okay. You can, I'll cook with onions all day long. I just won't right. eat them. <laughs> so that's going to give us about a cup of onions. Okay. And then so that's what we put in the pan first? Yeah, we're going to saute them off. That's where we get the olive oil nice and hot there. Okay. And I'll chop up, while the vegetables are sauteing, I'll add, chop up the garlic. We have four cloves of garlic. Four cloves of garlic. So let's we'll pop that in there. Go sure. for it. There's the simmer. Let's get there we go. I hear it now. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. There's the red bell pepper. Stick Already that in diced. there now. Yep. Please. Okay. Uh huh. Thank you. All right. Where did I put my stir? There you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't want to scrape the bottom of your. In the kitchen, you want to improvise. That's all. That's all right. That's true. See, when onions are cooking, they smell so good, but. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just can't well, do it. <laughs> uh, some people don't like raw onions, and, and they that like is cooked me. onions. Yes. Right, right, cooked right. onions, yes. I'm good with. I'm very good with cooked onions, but still, they do. If and I do see it though, it's and if coming you cook out them of even there. longer, that's you know how you make your French onion soup. Yes, which I love, believe it or not. Right. I love French onion soup. Okay. I'll have to do my minestrone for you sometime. Yeah. That would okay. <laughs> Fresh ingredients. That's what it's all about. That's right. Now I have four cloves of garlic. Okay. Chopped up. Toss that in there. Boom, boom. Put that off the table here. Mmm. Smells delish. Let's add a little salt and pepper to the party. <laughs> now, are we um, cooking the onions until they're clear? Translucent. Translucent. That's okay. clear. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Layman's turn, right? <laughs> <laughs> How's that smell? You smell like yeah, so good. Yeah, we're talking, huh? We got our one and a half pounds of um, ground sirloin. Okay. Um, the reason I don't use extra lean because you want a little fat 
to give it some the flavor. flavor. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the way we're going to cook our meatloaf is on a sheet pan on top of a grate. So what okay. happens is, instead of putting in a meatloaf pan, yeah. the meat kind of comes out sort of gray. Yeah. So this way, the fat and the juices roll off the sides of it, uh -huh. and it still solidifies. And we're adding a nice little juicy sauce on top of it too. So nice. That's make it okay. So we got some more greens to go, but that's finished. So we got to let that cool down. Okay. So do we take it off the fire? Yep. We're gonna take it and we're gonna turn it off. Be my guest. Thank okay. you very much. Once this cools down, then we're gonna add it to the ground beef and make our meatloaf. Okay. Fantastic. So. Um, so this is all done. Yep, we're not going to mix anything until that cools down. Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to be right back and then we'll get started you with the next it. step. Okay, we'll see you back in a second. Okay, now welcome back to Faces of Italy where we are going to finish off the Italian meatloaf. Okay, so what's the next step? So we step have now? our one and a half pound of ground sirloin. Okay. And we've sauteed our vegetables and they've cooled down enough. And our vegetables have uh, the onions, the red bell pepper, and the garlic, salt mm -hmm. and pepper. Right. Nice, simple, you know. High in flare, that's what's going in. Right. There we go. And now um, I removed all my rings, yes. my watches. No I'm ready to get down, down and dirty. dirty. <laughs> you got it. I'm gonna okay. have you pour in the ingredients. Okay. So, so first of all, we're gonna um, we're gonna start with uh, the eggs. Okay. Let me this get this mixed up first. Okay. We have salt and pepper in there already. Yeah. So we're gonna get this in there, and we have two whole eggs. Two whole eggs, whites and everything. Yep. Oh yeah. And that's our binder. That's what's going to make our meatloaf a loaf. Okay. Yep, without the eggs and the breadcrumbs. I do have a question though. Can you substitute the ground beef for ground turkey? Excellent question. And I do it all the time. Really? Well, my wife's health conscious and yeah. that's why she likes Small. it. There's less fat in it. And make sure you use the ground turkey breast instead of the ground turkey. Oh, Unless you yeah. want to use a ground turkey because there's more fat in ground turkey because they use the dark meat too. Well, then won't that make it more flavorful? True. With these? Exactly. Yeah. It's a happy so, medium. I've been learning, you guys. <laughs> it's a scary thing. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and add those eggs okay. in there. Just dump them on in there. There we go. Okay. Now what? I'm going to mix them up and then we'll oh, add. So oh, so gooey. <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> Great. There's a cup of breading. Tell me when. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Now we also have a tablespoon of Worcestershire shire shire shosh. <laughs> <laughs> you say it three times fast. Yeah, right. Okay. We'll even try. Let me get a little more breading in okay. there. There we go. Here's See how it's starting to gunk up? Yeah. Go ahead and add that. That's another layer of flavor. Okay. How about some fresh parsley? That's about two tablespoons. Go ahead and dump it in there. And what's that, basil? Dried oregano. Oh, oh oregano. basil, excuse me. Yes, it oh, is okay, basil. basil. Right. Okay, basil. Thank you for noting that for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's only a tablespoon, so pop that in there. Perfect. See, and the thing is, you want to incorporate everything. Pull from the bottom to the top. See how so that's all yeah, gets coated with. Exactly. Okay. Last but not least, well, we actually have two more ingredients. The cheese. The cheese. My favorite. Cheese go. on anything oh. is just, <laughs> just can't go wrong, right? fantastic. <laughs> okay. And now we have one more final. Well, we're gonna add a little salt and pepper to this too. We added it to the vegetables. Right. But let's add it to the meatloaf. It's gonna okay. bring all the other flavors together. That's the balsamic vinegar. We're we gonna add that next. Yep, that's okay. a tablespoon. Tell me I'm when. I'll let you eyeball it. Go for it. No, don't no, let you me. Can... That's good. A little more. A little more. Perfect. Okay. You nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm good for something. Yep. And, and <laughs> salt and salt pepper. Salt and pepper. Okay. I guess. Go for it. Is that good? Yep. Is that good? <laughs> you did both at the same time. That's good. <laughs> I think I need a little more salt anyways. Okay. Now, the trick to meatloaf also is not to overneat it. Because then oh. it gets hard. So oh, really? You sort of want it, yeah. It's like dough. So how long should you do it then? Oh, when will you know done. when it's done. Everything's incorporated. Uh, the last ingredients in there. Now we can just make our loaf. Wow. I've always wondered how <laughs> you make meatloaf. There you go. And we have one ready. Okay. And all I'm going to do to this one, put it on the tray. We're going to put the sauce over it. And the, set the oven's at 350. <gasps> Ah, I see. Okay, so let me. Oh, you put that on. Okay. Exactly. Now, do you put that on <laughs> afterwards as too when it's all finished? You can if you want. If you're gonna add more sauce. Yeah. Okay. But that's good to go. Okay. So I'll stick this in there now. And let's put out our finished meatloaf. Look at that. There you go. Right. Our Italian yep. meatloaf. It takes about 50 to 60 minutes. 
Uh, you always check with the thermometer, make sure you get to at least 165 degrees. Because you want the meat to be done. It is ground beef. It's right. not like a steak or anything. Right. Yep. And let me see if I can, let's see what it looks like inside. Yes. It's got a nice firmness to it. There you yes. go. So it doesn't fall apart. I'll hold it down there for you. you. Go. Perfect. And that looks delish. Yep. Look at that. There you go. Look at all the flavors in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's cooked just right. It's moist. And there's my sample piece. <laughs> <laughs> then where is mine? Mm. Mine's mm. foam. Oops. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> mm, that is moist. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is very Isn't good. Isn't that nice with the garlic and everything? Mm -hmm. That is very good, you guys. So if you miss any of the um, ingredients that we added right here, please go to our website at facesofitaly.tv. Until then, we will see you next time. Okay, where is my Bon appétit. Bon appétit. <laughs>